Well, good day, YouTubers. And uh, firstly, uh, I hope you're well. And I'd like to thank um, many of you who've posted comments on YouTube and Facebook and so on, uh, asking how I am and where I am and what I'm doing. Um, well, to put your minds at rest, um, I'm alive, as you can see. I'm healthy. Um, I'm not in hospital, I'm not dead. Touch wood. Um, and no, I don't have coronavirus uh, or any other kind of respiratory ailment. Um, quite simply, the past couple of months since my last video, unless you include the one um, where I try to explain why I don't vote, which I had to get rid of, um, cause it would appear that explaining why you don't take part in something and why you have no interest in something counts apparently as having an interest in it so I, I, I don't I don't get that myself um, so I deleted it but yeah my last video on YouTube where I walked along saying how I stay sane and uh, my diet and so on uh, that's about two months ago now um, so uh, what have I been doing for the past two months? Um, well, here in the UK, we're still in lockdown. Um, and you can't really do a huge amount. So I've basically spent my days walking, um, shopping for groceries. Uh, and now, since Monday, because it's now Friday, but since Monday, you're allowed to legally buy a coffee and walk with it, which I was doing anyway what a criminal eh um, but you can also now sit down on a bench whilst you're drinking your coffee um, obviously I didn't do that before because uh, well I don't want to take the piss do I um, and I've spent the rest of my time playing computer golf um, I've become quite good at it it's uh, it's by a company called HB Studios. Uh, it's 2K21 is the game. It's a um, PGA golf. Um, quite realistic. I, I used to play golf and I play this game pretty much how I play golf in real life. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend if you if you like golf games. Um, yeah, incredible game. And uh, keeps the old... Uh, and eye coordination in the brain going. Um, as for when uh, I can start travelling um, on the canals, uh, at the moment, according to the uh, government roadmap, which uh, you can interpret however you choose, April the 12th is going to be the, um, well, no earlier than April the 12th is going to be the time when we can, the stay at home order goes and we can begin to sort of travel further afield. Canal and River Trust are a little bit, um, they're a bit vague. They're not quite sure whether the canals will be able to open on the 12th of April. Um, it may be sometime in May. But I'll be quite frank that having basically done nothing um, of any sort of consequence for the past 12 months, I mean, it's nearly, it's nearly a year, uh, 23rd of March last year we went into lockdown, um, and having done absolutely nothing and just sat in one spot, I'm looking forward to, and I'm sure you are, um, a nice break, a change of scene, a holiday, because um, sitting around, not being able to do a single thing is not a holiday. Um, I can liken it quite simply to abusive mental torture. And it's, it's been diabolical. But somehow, um, I've got through it 
and I know of loads of people in a similar situation that are getting through it. Um, so when it comes to April the 12th, what I really want to do is get on my motorbike and if the law allows at the time, I'd like to go um, to Scotland. Um, now, I'll, due to the circumstances that will be in place at the time, indoor shared facilities won't be allowed. Excuse the racket, by the way. Um, so, that means toilets and showers on campsites um, won't be open. Um, but campsites will be open, which will be fine if you have a caravan or a motorhome. But campers and those with tents don't tend to carry their own bog around, do they? Um, so, but hopefully Airbnbs will open. And if I can go to Scotland, there's a couple of places I'd love to uh, visit in Scotland. Um, and also the, uh, the North Coast 500 uh, scenic route around Scotland. Always wanted to do that. Um, or if I can't do Scotland, England. But it will be on a motorbike because I need I need a nice long distance motorbike journey to uh, cleanse the soul. And if I can do that, I'll do a pile of videos on YouTube and various areas that I meet. Oh, areas that I meet. Various areas that I go to. Um, film all around there, where, wherever, little trips along the road, anything like that. Um, and that's basically where it stands at the moment. What I've also been doing, and the keen-eyed amongst you may notice, that the um, that the Country House Gen Research and Development uh, Centre looks a little bit different inside, and that is because. I've uh, moved premises. I've gone from a 10 foot by about 8 foot um, storage unit. I've now moved to a, to a uh, more convenient location. And this is a 20 foot by 10 foot. Or is it 8 foot? Oh, I'm not sure. But it's 20 foot long storage container. A lot more space. And I've erected this uh, rather handy shelf unit. If you're looking for gore, they're doing roadworks um, in the yard here. So if you can still hear me, if you're look if you're looking for reasonably priced and quite sturdy uh, racking, I can highly recommend this from Screwfix. Twenty nine pounds ninety nine. Of course, the table's still here and I've uh, taken the martial amp off the boat and given me quite a bit more space. And I've dug out what was left of my old electronic drum kit. It's a Mapex drum uh, stool. It's perfect for in here. And there's a motorcycle hoist. And here's the Kawasaki, which has actually been sold. I'm just waiting for the owner to collect it. The mountain bike off the boat. Many people ask me if I had a push bike. But of course, at the start of one episode of Travels by Narrowboat, I was riding along a country lane on it. But, uh, yep, I've been out on that. It's a good way to travel into Garstown for a coffee. And the reason I've sold the uh, Kawasaki is because I have bought my dream motorcycle. This is a 1978 Harley-Davidson FXE 1200 Superglide. Or as will be more familiar to all the uh, biker aficionados out there, uh, quite simply as a shovel head. It's supposed to resemble the heads of shovels, but I think they're more like a shovel handle. But a shovel head it is. And I shall be doing loads more videos 
about and on this bike when we're allowed to start travelling. Can't start her up at the moment because there's no battery in her. Because that's on the battery maintenance charger on Aslan. Take it from me, she sounds glorious. A little too glorious. All of you, be well. Keep your comments coming. And I'll, I'll see you very soon. Cheers everyone, cheers for now.